We are officially in baseball season. Not only are the Detroit Tigers letting us know that, but like you said, West Bloomfield High School varsity baseball season is underway. Join us to talk more about that is the coach of the West Bloomfield Lakers varsity baseball. We have Josh Bernberg. Thank you for joining us, coach. Absolutely. Always a pleasure to be on, fellas. Absolutely, man. So we're exciting because obviously today is Tigers opening day, but we are in full swing with the, the, the baseball season also. So first and foremost, let's get to the baseball season. How has the season been going so far? What are your thoughts on the team's performance also? Yeah, very similar to the Tigers, funny enough. Um, we've won a lot of close ball games. We're four and one, five games in. I know they're five and one, obviously, which is fantastic, but we've won four one run games, which is pretty crazy this early in the year. And obviously, similarly to them, they've won a bunch of really close games as well. So we relied on a lot of pitching and and good defense and you know some timely hitting just as they have and we're hoping the bats will get a little warmer as the weather gets warmer as well um so yeah a lot right. of similarities to to what the tigers have done so far we getting funny enough man that has to be good motivation that is kind of aligning with our own hometown team detroit tigers but more specifically right now coach we have like we said tigers opening day going on in downtown detroit today but we also have a game of our own today. If we're not mistaken, Lavonia Stevenson is who we'll be playing today. Has exactly. Is there any motivation behind Tigers opening day and the game today? Are, are you aligning any of these two together by any chance? It's just exciting to have baseball back. I remember being on last year getting, you know, asked questions about Tigers opening day. And I think right. when the MLB is officially back is when baseball feels like it's officially back. Obviously, college and high mm -hmm. school technically starts before the MLB MLB season starts when the Tigers are officially back and, and get to be playing at home and how excited the city gets. I think it just brings energy to everyone that's involved in baseball. So yeah, I think all of us are excited about the Tigers having opening day at home and hopefully it gives us a little bit extra energy out there today playing at home ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. Join us right now. Uh, we have head coach of the West Bloomfield high school varsity baseball team, Josh Bernberg. Join us just talking about the status of the West Bloomfield Lakers varsity baseball team as well as Tigers opening day. Well, with it being a very exciting day today around Metro Detroit um, and, you know, you all going against the Metro Detroit team also today, can you just talk about how even though, you know, there's a big thing going on around the city, we still have to focus on the game. So are there any pressures any any noise that you all have to kind of block out how do you balance kind of blocking out the the noise from events like this to stay and focus on your goal sure you know what i think we're pretty locked in we've, we've had a busy week this will be our fourth game this week um so we're in a pretty good routine of you know getting to the field right after the kids get out of school and getting ready to play and we have a really competitive group, so I think our guys are pretty locked in on our own game while also being excited about the Tigers, you know, having their opening day um, at home. But our guys are pretty locked in, and I think we'll be ready to go and should come out with a lot of energy riding a three-game win streak ourselves. Ooh, nice. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, too, man. So, okay, okay. We're always talking about balance, right? That's what we've been talking about recently. So we are, let's be honest, we're dealing with student-athletes. How are you, as coach, helping your students balance school and sports? Yeah, well, obviously, school is the most important thing because without it, they they are not eligible to play. So, um, obviously, that always takes priority. Um, you know, I've had even kids, you know, miss some practices here and there to get some extra assignments in to make sure that they're good to go and eligible for the game. So, students always going to come first, and I think it's called student athlete for a reason in that order. Um, so, we take that real seriously and. Um, the kids do as well. So they know the deal. If they don't have the grades and they can't play. So um, we oh. take that. It's, it's very important here and it should be for everyone else as well across the state. Coach, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I'm going to be honest. I was on a baseball team in high school too um, for at least one season. My grade slipped right and they report cards came out right before we were supposed to yeah. play and I never got to play a game. I yeah. never got to play a game, man. So it, it hurt. It still hurts me to this day because I love baseball, at least playing it. But yeah, yeah. I, I asked you that question for that reason because it's very important. Those grades come first, kids. Those grades yeah. come first. That's why no we're here. So. Yes, thank sir. you for sharing that 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 balance. Also, can you just talk about your system 
and how it's been effective for your players also, because if I'm not mistaken, you have players that's been that's going on to the next level, more specifically, uh, big success for Logan Picker, if I'm saying it right. His season sure. at MSU, you just talk about how your system are creating successful players to move on to the next level also. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, there's some luck involved in that too, right? I mean, being a public mm. school and kids growing up in the area, I mean, we're not out recruiting. You know, we kind of, we get who we get, right? We're a public school and we've been right. very fortunate in my, in my four or five years there to have some really good kids come through that also happen to be really, really good baseball players. So yeah, you know, Logan Pecor is a great example. Um, our first division one signee in my four years there and, and he's killing it right now at Michigan State as a freshman. I think I think he has the most innings pitched of any freshman there and he's doing a really good job. So that's just one mm. example. We have a nice. lot of kids playing college baseball um, in, in my time there. And yeah, we, we're real proud of it. We take pride in it. We follow them once they leave here and go on and play mm-hmm. at the next level. And we want them to represent West Bloomfield the right way. And, and they sure as hell are doing a really good job of that. So yeah, you know, just as far as the system goes, I mean, we're just really competitive and guys play big time baseball in the summer, you know, after our high school season is done and, the more big games you're playing in, um, you know, against other really, really good players, you know, you see how you stack up. And if you can compete at that level, then there's a really good chance you're going to go on and play college baseball. And we've been fortunate to have a lot of guys fit that category. So super proud of all of them. And we hope to have a bunch more in the future as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 100 percent, man. The stars in line. You know, the right players came to the right team with the right coach and the right system. And it worked out for everybody. 100 percent believe that now. I want to talk about the fact that, yes, we're in opening day. So a lot of attention is going there. A lot of people, even from West Bloomfield, may be there, be going there. But even outside of that, can you just talk about how the support from the West Bloomfield community coming to these games is very, very important for the team's success? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's been huge. Um, And we've been lucky in in that regard, too, with great support, um, not only from players' families and coaches' families, but... You have people that went to West Bloomfield that come back and catch games. You have students that come and catch games. Um, I think winning is a big part of it. Like they want to come see a team that's Mm, been successful and that's winning games. Um, So it gives us extra motivation, I think, to go out there. I mean, like I said, we have a super competitive group. We want to win every single game we're out there no matter what. But I think that the more you win, the more attention it brings to school and the more attention it brings the program. And I think the more people come out and watch the games, even in the crappy weather. And we have not had the best weather so far far fingers crossed i think it's gonna get uh i think it's gonna start warming up next week it looks like if the forecast holds true so um i think there'll be even more people heading out to games in the near future with the weather getting better oh yeah that's a good point too man better baseball is played in better weather i tell you that's a lot more fun to watch and play for that point man well thank you so much for your time again coach man any additional information updates things that you want to notify the community on with the with the baseball team this season no, I appreciate you guys always having me on. It's always it's always fun coming on. We should have another strong competitive team this year, and we have a bunch of home games. So always take a look at that West Bloomfield Athletics website. Um, mm-hmm. Our full schedule's on there, and anyone that wants to come out a game, come out to a game. We love having everyone out there. So please come out anytime you can. Coach, I, I'm a I'm a definitely try to make it a priority to come out and see at least one game, man. I I, I love baseball, man. I, if I'm going to support the Tigers, I gotta at least support the local teams too, man. That, no doubt, that's my priority. Absolutely. Well, thank you again, Coach. Appreciate your time, sir. Good luck in the season and today. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys.